hi everyone welcome to this video production this video production will bless you greatly as you watch and pray along prepare to receive prophetic declarations by apostle joshua selman feel free to like share comment and also subscribe thank you so much for joining us and god bless you welcome to chat now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word be that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever is required for your rising in this season, I call upon the God of heaven. May he make it available for you. May he make it available for you. The wisdom needed, let it be yours. The help needed, let it be yours. The access needed, let it be yours. The influence needed, let it be yours. The grace needed, let it be yours. The courage needed, let it be yours. In the name of Jesus, every force that keeps you down goes down for your sake. Every force attempting to keep you down goes down for your sake. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy over your life, go forward. Go forward. Make progress. Go forward make progress i say it again go forward make progress shame and reproach is far from your life stagnation is far from your life let it be clear that the hand of god is upon you let it be clear that the wisdom of god is upon you let it be clear that the favor of god is upon you let it be clear that you have become beulah and hepzibah in the name of jesus men will look at your life and they will learn god they will look at your life and they will desire to know him. They will look at your life and turn away from evil. They will look at your life and press for righteousness. They will look at your life and love the things of God. In the name of Jesus, tonight receive beauty for ashes. I say it again, receive beauty for ashes. In the name of Jesus, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. You will be called the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that you would be glorified through your life. May strangers feed your flock, Gentiles come to the brightness of your rising, even their kings to the brightness of your rising. I speak to you again, arise and shine. Arise and shine by the spirit of the living God. For in Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray just two prayers and we are done. Prayer point number one. Father, I receive your light. Go ahead and pray. I receive your light. High level spiritual illumination. The light that will transform superior thoughts, superior ideas, superior beliefs. Someone pray one minute. Sabalika parakatos kiata, embra kata beleke parus kavrenda beresko bales, egra pakata parondos kobrenda beleke pariata, jabra kaparada kebereko tosiata. Light in the name of Jesus. Light in the area of my finances. Light in the area of my spiritual life. Light in the area of my career. Light in the area of family and relationships. Light in the area of leaderships and my pursuit i receive light by the spirit light beyond the influence of culture light beyond the influence of my background light beyond the influence of my limitations someone pray you may be born in nazareth but you don't need to carry the mindset of the nazarenes you can carry the mindset of he that has come from above because he that comes from above is above all you are a nigerian a proud one at that but carry the mindset of a global giant carry the mindset of one who has come from above through nigeria above through nigeria above through nigeria above through africa you are an agent of change an agent restoring righteousness an agent restoring order within your system in the name of jesus in the name of jesus final prayer 
pray this with all your heart the discipline to partner with God as he seeks to transform me that will be your next prayer and final prayer tonight the discipline it is not a gift transformation is not a gift there is no gift of transformation in the Bible there is a labor dimension to transformation what God does is to give you the enabling grace go ahead and pray everybody transformation the discipline pray the discipline to learn the principles of wealth not just to assume it the discipline to learn how ministry works the discipline to learn how leaders become people of influence the discipline to learn how spiritual growth happens the discipline to learn how the anointing comes how it increases hallelujah let me speak over your life light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord like a candle, lights below, lights below, lights below. One more time, no, lights below, lights below, lights below. Listen, there is a mentality that when you have by grace, you will never be poor. It doesn't matter what happens. It's not pride. The energy that leaves from you will edit everything that will bring you poverty. And if anything happens in your life that looks like poverty, is God's law. It will send a signal to the spirit. This kind of mindset should not be in lack. Men and systems will realign themselves until you bounce back. It's a law. Increase is a mindset. When you understand the mindset of increase, then the grace for increase comes. Listen, grace is come in honor to mindsets. Grace is come in honor to beliefs. Never forget this. Grace is come in honor to mindsets. Don't just look for graces. Find out the mindset that the graces are looking for. There is a kind of mindset that when you have, even before you pray for the grace, it would have arrived. Because the mindsets are magnets. It is true. There are things I began to experience in my life before intentionally praying for them. I focused on transformation. And the, the power, the force that was exerted, my God, you want to see magnetic power have a superior mindset and see what it will draw to you it will draw a helper from the ends of the earth and bring it to your house everybody to help you is around and everybody to destroy you is around your mindset selects them and permits them to come or selects them and keeps them far from you the power of god does not just function arbitrarily there are people who have a mindset of life no matter what death does it will not kill them their mindset will forbid them to die you believe me when i tell you this there are people who have gone through things you will never imagine there was a mindset of life if the mindset was not there god would not say choose life choose life means you can choose wealth choose wealth means you can choose excellence Choose excellence means you can choose growth. As for me, I have taken time by the Spirit of God to sit down and write a list of things that I want to see and a list of things that will go. So when I say Satan, go away, I don't just pray a carnal childish prayer. As I drive him, I also remove the mindset that attracts him to me. When you say poverty, go, you have to receive the mindset that ejects poverty thinking. So that the next time it comes, like Jesus, you will say, Satan cometh to me. Limitations cometh to me. 
challenges coming to me but there was nothing in me that could attach itself to them father in the name of jesus i have brought your counsel to your people <laughs> that there is a journey beyond new birth is a journey with the ministry of light and that the light of god is able to build us to build our minds and position us for liberty and victory i pray for you every mindset that you need to have may you begin the journey of getting it by the spirit and hear me if there is anything you have attracted to your life trouble failure tragedies causes knowingly or knowingly you use your mindset to partner with evil for your destruction let mercy speak for you now 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 therefore i prophesy upon you rise to a new level don't reject it rise to a new level may your spiritual life scale to a new height let the power of the holy ghost rest upon you i speak favor upon you i call you victorious i call you blessed i call you favored i call you honored by god when men say there is a casting down for you there will be a lifting up i declare that kings will look for you nobles will look for you captains of industry will look for you in the name of jesus christ regardless your background i empower you to excel what your father could not do go ahead and do it what your mother could not do go ahead and do it the limitations that came with where you are coming from i cut it away from your life the discipline to be transformed receive the grace for it wave your hands to jesus I'm seeing in the spirit families tied down by chains, doors that have closed over them. This is what God is revealing to me. I want to bring them out. Every family here, not just you are individuals, but you are representing families. No one has been able to go forward. There is an embargo that has sat upon families in the name of Jesus Christ. I call upon El Shaddai, I call upon the warrior. Once you are seated, anyone here under territorial closed doors that have tied you down, tied your family down right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost, let it descend upon that family now. Let it descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Bring them out. Descend upon that family now. In the name of Jesus. Descend upon that family now. My God, in the name of Jesus, he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder, tied by witchcraft, tied by ancestry, tied by bloodline, in the name that is above all names. I say it again, be delivered now, be delivered now, be delivered now, you and your family, be delivered now. Open up the gate. Open up the doors. Will you open up the gate? Open up the doors. Shabala gabara tosia gabara. Open up the gate. Now hear me The Lord is ministering to me That there are a number of you here An anointing is coming on you It's a barrier breaking anointing Something that has never been done in your family You have seen it in your visions You are the one ordained to do it I don't know how many of those people are there But let that anointing rest on you now Bring them out 
the anointing of a savior the anointing of a breaker the anointing of a warrior in the name of jesus dimensions in the spirit that have never been crossed in your family may you cross it now levels of wealth that have never been attained by your family step into it now step into it now step into it now hallelujah listen when angel gabriel came to zechariah and said you will have a son zechariah wanted to prophesy something else and he shut his lips and then when they were about to call him john they said no you can't call him john nobody from this lineage has ever carried that name john nobody from this lineage has ever been called prosperous nobody from this lineage has ever been called anointed nobody from this lineage has ever been called a genuine christian nobody from this lineage has ever crossed primary school secondary school nobody from this lineage has even gone outside nigeria i stand by the anointing by the god who sent me anyone here who has been tied down pegged down that you and your family cannot go forward i prophesy to you go forward now 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 go forward go forward in ministry go forward in ministry anointed but under closed heavens go forward I release you go forward go forward in career 10 years without promotion 15 years without promotion go forward now hallelujah listen listen I'm hearing in my spirit Jubilee let me tell you what Jubilee is Jubilee is an exodus after many years of captivity please listen listen we're praying we're praying there is the spirit of Laban is the spirit that never allows men to go it will encourage you with something to keep you small but it will never allow you go and have your own space it's a spirit that fights increase when Laban saw Rachel he liked her and he wanted to marry her but Jacob knew that if he marries her he will go away and he trapped her down he trapped him down and the man kept serving when it was time to carry his wife they exchanged the wife for Leah and the man stayed again many years the spirit of Laban you will suffer but you won't rise that is the spirit of Laban you won't beg but you can't give because you are barely enough I pray for you any house you have found yourself physically and in the spirit that is tying you down not allowing you to rise to live destiny tonight i declare jubilee i declare jubilee i declare jubilee i declare jubilee be released to go forward be released to make progress be released to make progress in the name of jesus christ Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, the Holy Ghost power. Isaiah 42 verse 7 Isaiah 42 verse 7 42 verse 7 to open the blind eyes and to bring out the prisoners from prison and them that sit in darkness out of prison houses Jeremiah 30 and verse 8 something mighty is about to happen here now for it shall come to pass in that day saith the Lord of hosts that I will break his yoke from off thy neck 
and I will burst their bonds and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him I want to pray right now before I pray for the sick I'm going to pray for you right now that anyone who came here and I want you to please bring them out very quickly let's do this very fast if the ushers are limited or that maybe prayer department can help them so that they are not stressed Do you know why we minister to people this way? You will have to be in the shoes of people to see the kinds of chains, chains that tie destinies, bondages that cannot be explained. One person from where the international visitors are, I'm seeing an anointing coming on someone. There is, I just saw fire where the international visitors are. Please, I want you to pick that person and bring the person out now. That, that spirit of witchcraft. We come against altars. We come against powers. We come against thrones, dominions. Every name that is named. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name. That is above every other name. He said that at the name of Jesus, every knee must bow of things in heaven, of things in the earth, of things under the earth. And every tongue confesses that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. You're going to shout the name Jesus. We shout that because it is the name that brings deliverance. It is the name that brings healing. It is the name that brings breakthrough. Please hear me. There are many of you who have come here thinking you are sick. You are not really sick. You are oppressed. Acts 10, 38. Healing all day that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. It's an oppression. Mysterious diseases that cannot be explained. Your time has come now. In the name of Jesus. Someone is going to shout loud under the anointing and that is not the shout the shout is coming and then i'm going to begin to minister deliverance to people by the power of the holy spirit the bible says the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous listen god sent me for your sake i want your heart to be open there is no reason no reason when god wants to help you he reduces the distance between you and a vessel he has anointed. Are you ready? That one shout, you will shout it just once. And every yoke, every devil, please make sure you bring them out very quickly. Prayer department, help ushers, please. We can't depend on, if you're in prayer department here, you are released, you are anointed to go and help. Do the work with Osha still. In the name that is above all names. And by the power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. I decree right now. That everyone under the sound of my voice. God you know how many people came here. With With oppressions in their families. You know how many people you sent here by your spirit. Whose destinies would otherwise not be opened. You know how many people who have been asking for answers in the name of Jesus as your people shout everything that is not of God ordinances, curses, yokes, plagues upon plagues let it give way now at the count of three you are going to shout Jesus are you ready? one, two, three shout Jesus Break, break, chains break, break, chains break. In the name of Jesus, altars be destroyed, be set on fire. Over families, be set on fire. Over destinies, be set on fire. Over careers, be set on fire. At the shout of Jesus, 
be set on fire bring them out in Jesus name we pray in Jesus name we pray the Lord is ministering to me you have applied for jobs there is nowhere you have not gone to you have submitted CVs but sometimes you even go for the first phase of the interview but after that everywhere is shot in the name of Jesus I declare the power stopping you cutting favor from you as I speak right now in the name of Jesus that power is destroyed now 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 the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing the map and I'm seeing Nasarawa state there's someone you are from Nasarawa state the plague of witchcraft has trapped you where are you from where is this lady from Nasara state stand up we hail you most high please give her the mic my sister where are you from I'm from Nasarawa state Nasarawa state yes I came from Lagos <laughs> but you are from Nasarawa state yes sir <laughs> Nasarawa state yes sir. this is what I'm saying yes. from Nasarawa state not necessarily just her when he says to one he says to all Nasarawa state I'm seeing a mighty deliverance that is about to happen to families connected to Nasarawa state I want to pray anyone who is from that state and has been trapped by witchcraft that you don't go forward horns that have kept you down so that your head is not lifted in the name of Jesus I declare right now fire from heaven let it rest upon you fire from heaven let it rest upon you my glory the lifter up of my head but thou O oh Lord are the shield from me my glory you lift my head but thou O oh Lord are the shield from me you're my glory a police officer a police officer I'm seeing a woman police you are wearing red a police officer you're my glory confirm please verify is she a police officer there should be someone talking to them huh where What's that you know sometimes people see these things and think that you are just not everybody is playing games so let me tell you you listen to me not everybody is playing games there are people who have been forged from the fires of affliction before you vet people i want you to research on their journey with god not everybody is a joker do you understand so i need to say this now because i know that sometimes they think everybody prophesied is just a joker no 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 what where when what's your name Garus, Bistruz. you're a police officer yes sir where first headquarters where's first headquarters Miss Edith. you're all police officers my sister something is about to happen to you that will make you shed the tears of joy i don't know you all, but you will see the wonder working power of god who is Regina? I'm hearing a name, Regina. Regina. If it's not your name, don't come out here and say, I just came to be blessed. Please, let's be obedient. Obedience is better than sacrifice. If it's not your name, please. You will still receive. But if it's not your name, don't tell lies. We're in the house of God. Madam, is your name Regina? 
Huh? Come again. You are, okay, you're a police officer. No problem. Come. Regina. I'm hearing Regina. Your name is Regina. Where are you coming from, madam? Je parle français. I'm speaking okay. French. Okay. Somebody, she needs an interpreter. Where are French people? Please, quickly. Don't worry. Let her be comfortable. PR, please, let's have a French person. She can speak the French and then we'll have someone interpret. Let me be ministering to this one first where she can be patient. Your name is Gina. Regina. Yes. My dear, shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Everything that would have killed you in August by the power that raised Christ from the dead. These dreams you are having of seeing dead bodies. I stand in the name of Jesus. Right now, let the spirit of death help her. I cast that spirit out of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Suleiman. I'm hearing a name, Suleiman. Suleiman. I'm hearing a name, Suleiman. What is your name? Suleiman. Yes, sir. From where? From Ogun State, sir. Come again? Ogun State, sir. You are Suleiman from Ogun State? Yes, sir. Is that where you are from? Yes, sir. Your parents named you Suleiman? Yes, sir. You are from Ogun State? Yes, I was born a Muslim, sir. Oh, you were born a Muslim? Yes, sir. I see. The call of God is upon your life. Are you hearing me? There is a mighty hand of God that is upon your life. It's going to raise you to be a mighty vessel. Go and read Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 5 to 12. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 to 12 is a mandate God is giving you. He will train you up, but you will become a mighty vessel in his hand. Do you believe that? Yes, sir. Police officer, my sister, I'm seeing you climb a ladder in the spirit. This lady, what did you say your name is? Huh? Gyros Beatrice. Gyros Beatrice. Where yes, are you from? Plateau State. You are from Plateau State? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, I declare over you, as Amen. God has revealed to me, what he says to one, he says to all. Everyone interested in climbing that ladder, because the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light. As God is speaking to her, this officer, I decree and declare, whatever is stopping you from rising, we bury it now. We bury it now. We bury it now. My dear, I release grace upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. Find favor with your superiors in the name of Jesus Christ. The officers, I pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare you will not die in service. The Lord will preserve you. This woman placing her hand on her head, I rebuke the spirit of death. You. I curse it now from you in the name of Jesus Christ I curse it now from you because I'm seeing this woman go somewhere not returning back again hallelujah there is a gentleman here you work in a tech company you work in a tech company all the people who are involved in apps and all of that I want to pray for you because I'm seeing you I, you don't have to come out but I'm seeing a gentleman I'm seeing you leave to the US and God is connecting you with a big tech firm and he will lift you there and because of that I'm seeing you lift your loved ones this is a gentleman you work in a tech firm wherever you are in the name of Jesus the God who reveals is also the God who performs. I declare, let there be a performance to this prophet. Let there be a performance to this prophetic word. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a court case over land. This is what I'm seeing. I can imagine that with the crowds here, the probability is high that there's some kind of land thing. But there's, this is a very huge property and there is a court case over it. This is a family property and there is a court case over it. And the Lord is telling me to declare mercy so that it will not be taken from that family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree by the power that raised Christ from the dead, 
because you have come here tonight may God show you mercy 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 the Lord is speaking to me are you ready to interpret okay go ahead so let her speak and then tell her to speak and then you interpret let's okay if you if she she come so she's called Regina okay and we are from Congo Brazzaville. Oh, you are her husband? Yes. You we are, are most welcome. We are God bless from you. Congo Brazzaville. Oh, you are from Congo Brazzaville? Yes. I see. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to pray for you. Okay. What do you do? I work for the World Food Program. I'm the Deputy Country Director. Okay. And I work with um, Pastor Timothy Adeyinka. Ah, I see. Yeah. I see. Yeah. I'm going to pray for you and your wife, Regina. Yeah. The month of September. It's a strange month of breakthrough for both of you. Please go on. Can you tell her? Let her is she hearing me? I need her to believe. Tell her that I said so. You don't have to say it with a mic. It's your wife. So talk to her. In the name of Jesus, for you and for her, the month of September, from September 15th upwards, my God is going to open strange doors for you. And I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit. You came from Congo, Brazzaville. Listen, my friend, you will return back here and you will testify, you and your wife, in the name of Jesus. Let strange doors be opened for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let strange doors be opened for you. In the mighty name of Jesus. I'm about to pray, but the Lord is showing me someone. Your mother has cancer. We're going to pray, but there's someone, your mother, has cancer your mother has cancer father in the name of jesus whether mama is here or connected online i'll soon be praying for the sick now you see this cancer thing here eh, is a killer spirit that thing is not sickness oh. it's a demon sent from hell because once it comes upon you the first thing it does is to stop the progress of your life the second thing it does is to devour your finances and that of all those around you then finally take your life is that sickness that's not sickness that is the character of satan it steals it kills and destroys whatever steals kills and destroys is a thief and it's not a thing it's a person i use the opportunity to pray for everyone suffering the plague of cancer he said, with long life will I satisfy you and show you my salvation. I'm praying right now. Lung cancer, breast cancer, prostate, all kinds of demonic cancers by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Hence God has revealed it. I declare healing now. Hence God has revealed it. I declare healing now. In the name of Jesus. I'm seeing a lab coat and a stethoscope and the Lord is saying I should pray for all the medical people I often I would usually not do this but if you are a doctor here please come out something is about to happen in the world of doctors if you are if you are not a doctor and you come here we'll send you back please you are a doctor doctor listen to instructions doctor please come let's celebrate them as they come you are a doctor medical doctor you can stand you don't have to kneel Hallelujah. I'm not a prophet of doom. And I'm careful when I say things like this. But as I'm standing right now, I'm seeing coffins and I'm seeing lab coats on them. I don't know what it is, but this is doctors just dying like this. Not doctors, medical doctors. And the Lord is saying to pray for them. Let me give one minute. Please hurry up. We have a lot to do. If you're a doctor, please. You should be healthy and agile. If there are doctors outside, those following online, you're a doctor, please connect. I want to pray for you. There are arrows that fly by day. There are noisome pestilences. It is not unusual for Satan to want to strike you because you are the ones who midwife the healing power of Jesus. Doctors, please come. Not doctors in training. Doctors. If you are still in medical school, God bless you, but we pray that you will become a doctor one day. But doctors practicing 
doctors, please. I'm seeing a coffin and I'm seeing a lab coat on it. Lab coats. Lab coats. This is like a doctor passing. This is not just a koinonia thing. Oh. I'm praying for the body of Christ. Let me tell you the truth. The purpose of the prophetic, if done with integrity, is not to create fear and it's not to deviate people from the patterns of Christ. Prophecy exalts. Prophecy comforts. Prophecy gives direction. Are we together? Doctors. Let's stretch our hands towards them in one minute. Pray like you are praying for your sister. Pray like you are praying for your brother. Doctors will not die. Whatever this vision means, one thing we know is that there is a name that is above all names. And no doctor here is appointed unto death not by the same sicknesses they are treating and not by a demonic plague that will move like a virus and kill them go ahead and pray koinonia pray we're a responsible ministry we stretch our hands over these doctors as a point of contact to all other doctors and medical practitioners every plague that hell is preparing to kill and destroy doctors by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we are it now. We are it now. We are it now. We are it now. They are instruments of God's mercy. God will preserve them as such. They are instruments of God's grace. God will preserve them as such. They are instruments of longevity. God will preserve them as such. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare using you as a point of contact to those who are falling online and the many medical practitioners we have by the power that raised Christ from the dead while you minister to us by priesthood I speak leave leave and not die I speak the blessing of Reuben upon you he says let Reuben live and not die and let his men not be few I say to you again let Reuben live and not die and let his men not be few one more time let Reuben live and not die and let his men not be few in Jesus name we pray God bless you please return back rejoicing 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 hallelujah return back rejoicing I struggle to share this vision but my conscience will not allow me if I don't share it we need to pray yesterday while I was praying I saw a vision and I saw that the devil wants to bring back something in this nation that once happened the era of bomb blast I saw this in my vision and the Lord it, it came as if it was something physical that I was there and the Lord said I should pray this is not to scare you again prophecy does not bring fear are we together now yes the dominion power of the word is greater than anything we see and the purpose of revelation is to bring salvation and redemption but I saw this that there is a plot again to revive this thing about bomb blasts again the church has the authority to stop this devilish thing are we together the nations are cross and the nation is already going through too much every blood testy spirit hear what i'm saying it was here i stood last year and i preached i shall not want i told you that i had a vision and in that vision that i saw that there was going to be a lot of economic hardship and even as a ministry we said we'll take responsibility and thankfully we're able to partner with CSS farm to be able to do something so I'm not somebody who comes on air and waste my time I respect God but I also respect myself are we together the teaching ministry is enough for me the miracle ministry is enough for me but if I come out here to tell you God said then it's not only because I saw 
is because he's impressed it upon my spirit. Are we together? You have invested your trust and your loyalty. I will not come and play games, not at this point of my life in ministry. Why is God revealing this? So that we'll pray. I'm going to pray for the sick, but we are going to pray. Pray so that it will not be where you are there. Remember how Mordecai warned Esther. He said, don't you think the plot of Haman is just for all of us? God has brought you for such a time as this. Number one, we are going to pray. This nation is God's nation. For the sake of the elect, God will preserve his name. Number two, we are going to pray. Anybody working with elemental forces to resurrect something we have casted out of this nation, we are going to ask the earth to open and swallow them. You don't like that prayer, but keep quiet while I do the praying. In the name of Jesus, are we together? And then number three, we are going to pray for the armed forces, defense, police, civil defense, for wisdom, courage, and grace. You may not know how these people labor until you have a husband or a brother or a child that while they are sending them to go and fight, you don't even know whether they will return back. Are we together? Can we lend our voices to pray? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Blood testy spirits over the soul of Nigeria. Blood testy spirits over the soul of this nation to resurrect mayhem, to resurrect evil, to resurrect death in the name of Jesus Christ whether as sacrifices or demonic orchestrations we call upon God who is a jealous warrior arise for your namesake God reveals to redeem arise for your namesake in the name of Jesus arise for your namesake by the power that raised Christ from the dead we are fat evil we are fat evil we are fat evil we are fat evil in the north in the south the east the west of nigeria we have had evil in abuja here the fct our going out and coming in is blessed in the name of jesus we pray for the law enforcement agencies grace integrity of service in the name of jesus that perpetrators of mayhem will be apprehended and brought to justice we empower them by prophecy we empower them with wisdom we empower them with grace in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah use this opportunity to declare the covering of the blood over yourself and your loved ones mention them my name my child will not die my mother will not die if they leave my house in the morning they will return in the night if they leave my house in the morning they return in the night if i take a flight it will not crash if i go by road there is no accident in the name of jesus blood testy spirits walking through evil men walking through wicked men it will not come near my dwelling not the arrows that fly by day not the moisture pestilences not the destructions that waste in noonday in jesus name in jesus name if there is anyone who has been marked for death by cancer as i'm praying for them i'm praying for everyone by the power of the holy spirit i declare that embargo that yoke is broken now that yoke is broken now the power of god is coming on a woman the testimony that a young lady shared here about miscarriage this is what happens to you all the time you take in but the baby never stays something happens and you just bleed and the baby goes in jesus name i'm speaking by the spirit wherever that person is in this auditorium across the airwaves the overflows i'm praying for you right now by the power that raised christ from the dead 
let that embargo be broken now. Please, all shall be sensitive as I pray. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. Salana madakata barafis. Amen, 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 amen. Amen, 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 amen. I'm saying it again the spirit of miscarriage where you take in and lose the baby you take in and lose the baby it says none shall cast her young i decree every power that sponsors that repetitive pattern let it be broken now broken now broken now, broken now. Broken now. destroyed forever in the name of Jesus there's someone you had a dream in that dream you saw your teeth removing your teeth one by one one by one pulling out the Lord is asking me to pray for you wherever that person is by the power that raised Christ from the dead my God let the power of God bring you deliverance from that evil let the power of God bring you deliverance from that attack. And for all the victorious who are here, I'm going to pray, but I'm seeing something I have to respond to. The Lord just opened my eyes and I just saw a serpent, like a snake. Every orchestration of satanic marine spirits over any destiny here i'm going to begin to pray maybe these people can clear the way because i'll ask you to bring those people out right now i stretch my hands let fire every spirit based on this vision the lord has shown me in the name of jesus by the power that raised christ from the dead orchestrations of marine spirits let the fire of God descend upon them now 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 descend upon them now, descend upon them now. hallelujah We'll sit down shortly, but I want to pray. I want you to bring those people out right now as I pray. Activities of strange familiar spirits. You see, a serpent is not just a reptile. It's a reptile biologically. But it represents a mysterious orchestration of darkness in the spirit. Are we together now? That was the symbol of Egypt, the serpent. The symbol of bondage, the serpent. The symbol of deception, the serpent. The symbol of strange, mysterious occurrences. I'm praying right now. The power of God is going to come on a few people. People and families that may not even know that is the spirit behind the calamities and the tragedies of your family. Are you ready to shout Jesus? At the shout of that name, anyone who is a victim of this influence, it has damaged your life, your destiny, your family, it must give way now. Whether you are an usher or not, help me bring those under the anointing out. At the count of three, you shout Jesus. One, two, three, shout Jesus. I cost those spirits represented in the operation of the serpent be delivered now i cause those spirit influences over lives over destinies over lives over destinies bring them out over lives and over destinies every covenant represented through the orchestration of a serpent 
that has tied your life has tied your family hear me in the name of jesus at this miracle service i declare that that covenant is broken 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 in the name of jesus We're still praying. You see, let me tell you the truth. Watch this. One of the assignments of the miracle service is not just to solve problems, but to also diagnose it. You may be a victim of many things you do not even know the cause. That's why God sent you here. Are we together? I'm still praying that prayer again. Families that are victims of these serpentine operations, making good things to run away from you, making helpers to run away from you i'm still praying because that fire is still falling anyone any family under the influence of my voice that has been the victim of this operation you're going to shout that name jesus again at the count of three father thank you because there must be deliverance for your people are you ready one two three shout jesus Rate bakatos kapra kete balatos, breke baratos kaprente kete baratos yata. Destruction of evil satanic marine operations. Hallelujah. I'm seeing the face of a gentleman. I've seen this many times in my visions. Where you are looking at an individual, but in the realm of the spirit, you are not seeing a face. You will just see from the neck downwards. Because you see, the face of a man captures a lot of details. Identity is known by the face. When you snap passport, you don't snap um, your legs downwards. It is your face that is your means of identification. And when that is missing in the spirit, you can be in a place and yet you are never seen, you are never known. The glory, the hair is on a man's face. So when God shows me this, it's because someone's glory has been buried and God wants to release that person from it. I'm praying for you. Any gentleman, any lady, whatever has buried your glory, don't come here and waste your time tonight. We are not playing games. In the name that is above all names, right now, I pray for you. Let there be a restoration. Let there be a restoration. Let there be a pakatosh kete pakata. Rekete pakaparako peskiata. Let there be a restoration. A restoration of your glory. A restoration of your dignity. In the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand upon the grace that is in this house and I decree and declare for everyone who has been a victim of witchcraft a victim of satanic manipulation manipulations of ancestry and every kind of satanic manipulation my bible says we have been called out of every tribe and every tongue and every nation my bible says blotting out every handwriting and the ordinances that spoke against us that he nailed it to his cross therefore i decree and declare be set free this moment in the name of jesus Shout a believing amen. Be set free this moment in the name of Jesus. Be set free this moment in the name of Jesus. Every manifestation in your life that is not of God, I bring it to end right now in the name of Jesus. Now I'd like you to lay your hands anywhere you are trusting God for healing. Go ahead. Let's use a minute or two to do this just lay your hands if it's your head lay your hands on your head 
if it's your chest lay your hands on your chest if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest go ahead and believe go ahead and believe go ahead and believe Jesus is a healing Jesus he is able to for God had so highly exalted him and given him a name and office that is above every other name it says that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow of things in heaven things in the earth and things under the earth and that every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of the Father therefore I declare people in the name that is above all names let God's people go now shout a loud amen let God's people go now I decree and declare from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name blood conditions be healed in the name of Jesus migraine headaches be healed in the name of Jesus bone conditions be healed in the name of Jesus cancer be healed in the name of Jesus fibroids be healed in the name of Jesus lumbar spondylosis be healed in the name of Jesus heart conditions be corrected in the name of Jesus eye conditions be healed in Jesus name ear conditions be healed in Jesus name it doesn't matter what the sickness is it doesn't matter what the infirmity is in the name of my God who is also your God be healed this moment anyone holding a medical report that represents a death sentence because of this convention find rest in your health find rest in your health I prophesy over you you will not die you will not die I close the grave the gate of the grave on your behalf you will not die be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name be healed in Jesus name now I decree and declare over your finances the spirit of the waster the spirit of poverty lack and want that only keeps you begging and borrowing by the power that raised Christ from the dead I cause that spirit right now I cause that spirit right now I pray over your family everything that wants to destroy your integrity destroy your children destroy your spouse I command it to give way right now I command it to give way right now in the name of Jesus for anyone here trusting God for a job I prophesy to you between now and the end of 2023 may my God visit you may my God surprise you make it may he make a way for you where there is no way in the name of Jesus hear me any business that is in debt anyone who is in debt financial crisis personally or corporately I call upon the God of Jeshurun in the name of Jesus may God arise and use men to wipe your tears may God arise and use men to take you out of shame in the name of Jesus hear me everyone who has what it takes to help you I call them helpers of destiny wherever they are I prophesy to the north the south the east and the west I gravitate your helpers towards you in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon whoever must send for you to bring you out of shame to bring you out of calamity and misery may my God put it in their hearts to honor you Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty I prophesy to you the, the, the days of emptiness has come to an end now by the favor of God in the name of Jesus Christ hear me believers 
when men say there is a casting down i prophesy to you let it be for you that there is a lifting up a thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand by your right side none shall hurt you with your eyes will you see and behold the reward of the wicked in the name of jesus christ for someone here under the sound of my voice quarter to shame may god raise help for you in the name of jesus christ and if there is anyone here the spirit of death is roaming around your life roaming around your family to see that you don't survive and reach the end of this year that people will say this man was in this convention but he did not enter 2024 i stand in the name of jesus and i decree and declare you will live long you will live long i say it again you will live long you have no covenant with death you have no covenant with the waster in the name of jesus finally i pray for you whatever will bring your spiritual life down the bible says blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked nor sit in the seats of the scornful it says but his delight is in the law of the lord and on that law doth he meditate day and night he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water which yields fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither then he says whatsoever he doeth prospers i pray for you any destructive relationship that the devil has brought around you to destroy your passion for god to confuse you and make spirituality look like a waste i separate you from those relationships forever receive help from the lord receive mercy from the lord for someone by this time next year you return back 10 times better you return back 10 times better 10 times wiser 10 times more prosperous 10 times healthier in the name of jesus And in case I did not mention your desire, I release my faith with you. Standing upon the grace of our Father and every man of God in this place, we agree under the corporate anointing that every desire that brought you for this convention, you will never go back with it disappointed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Psalm 112 says, Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth you will not give birth to weak children you will not give birth to children who will kill you in the name of jesus he says wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever i hope you believe in the blessing of the lord i pray for you you will not beg again i say from the depth of my heart you will not beg again that mark of shame that is on your head that is called Ichabod everyone has said what is wrong with you where is the evidence of your serving God from today may your results answer your enemies Yeshua HaMashiach Komina Nakane Yeshua HaMashiach Komina Nakane Yeshua HaMashiach Komina Nakane Yeshua HaMashiach Komina Nakane Komina Nakane Komina Nakane Komina Nakane the lord is saying i am looking for someone here who is prepared to be a sacrifice i want to use you as as a spectacular display of my glory but there are still things you are withholding there are still things you are withholding 
and the Lord wants you to cry in the next one minute. I don't know who I'm speaking to, but hear me, I'm speaking by the Spirit of God. There are many of you, there are relationships you love more than God. There are business deals you love more than God. No. This realm of sacrifice, there are few people who have gotten there. There are pastors, maybe listening to me, the secret is not just your prayer. The secret is not just your fasting. You have prayed, Jesus prayed. You have fasted, Jesus fasted. You studied the word. But when your all becomes poured like a drink offering, you have approached it, a realm in the spirit where you will see the hand of God. I want to give you the next one minute. I apologize for stretching the time. Whether you want to lie down, whether you want to cry, you're going to say, Lord, this is me, all of me. I surrender everything. Everything. I surrender all. Church, that you cannot bring deliverance. You have seen it from scripture that the hand of God can create, the hand of God can sustain, the hand of God can judge the wicked, the hand of God can bring deliverance, it can bring redemption, the hand of God can lift man. Hear me, man of God. The secret to being in ministry is to forget about ministry and focus on Him, loving Him, giving your all, pouring your all. Then you will find ministry. Businessman, some can trust in horses and chariots. But when God's hand decides to bring you a thing, it preserves, it keeps. For someone here, you have tried and tried and tried. God brought you to the Oasis Conference because he's saying, stop. This, this up and down does not give God glory. Waking up in the morning and sleeping late in the night, hustling through life, only to eat the bread of sorrow. Help those under the anointing. Please help that lady so she doesn't enjoy herself. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. calling you you've trusted in things of lesser value but he's showing you the path to the hand of God the hand of God is not just the name of a conference it's an experience that you can have and carry it can become your habitation your reality but only if your heart is stayed on revealing Jesus seeing that his will is birthed perpetually through your life that you walk in obedience that you live a life of worship huh. Paul and Silas they prayed but when they sang the Bible tells us that his mighty power came descended upon that prison room and all doors opened hallelujah Pair yourselves into three if you can. We are going to spend the remaining just three, three. If there's nobody there, just make it two or whatever. But please, we are going to pray. Help them under the anointing. We are going to pray. 
just two three minutes you're going to begin to pray in the spirit find any hand you find there and begin to pray and make declarations over the person's hand you are holding in the name of jesus i declare i come as a prophetic rainmaker come on koinonia following from your home hold the hands of your children if you can hold the hand of your wife your husband hold the hand of your neighbor whoever you find touch and agree by faith i am a prophetic rainmaker i program the spiritual climate of my brother and my sister no more losses no more failure in the name of jesus superior wisdom superior favor higher levels of power higher levels of grace strange breakthroughs by the spirit pray the anointing that is within me is finding expression in the name of jesus man of god pray and declare it's a new season in ministry it's a new season of exploits and impact for jesus by the spirit the hand of god is upon me therefore i speak in psalms i speak in hymns i speak in spiritual songs making melody in my heart even unto god no failure in the name of jesus my path is as a shining light shining ever brighter even unto the perfect day the lord is my light and salvation in the name of jesus i rise by revelation the mighty hand of god is upon me when men say there is a casting down i declare by the spirit that there is a lifting up in the name of jesus the god of Jeshurun is arising for me by the power of the holy spirit i am blessed in the city blessed in the country koinonia is blessed revealing jesus bringing him glory across the nations of the earth television pray for your nation mention the name of your nation south africa kenya ghana rwanda uganda central african republic cameroon declare by the spirit africa is engulfed with the fire of revival europe america australia asia hallelujah hallelujah in the name of jesus
this is how kings reign this is how kings rule this is how kings rise for by your words you are condemned and by your words you are justified hallelujah i want to speak over your life no shadow you will light up mountain you will climb up coming after me no one you won't kick down lie you won't tear down coming after me one more time no shadow you will light up no shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up in the name of Jesus Christ I stand as a prophetic rainmaker over someone's life that drought in your life in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise i decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall For someone here i prophesy to you you will not see wind you will not see rain even but i declare by all means may your valley be filled may your valley be filled hear me according to the law of time and chance for some of you certain things have gotten to your turn but demon spirits made it jump over you i stand by the prophetic i take it back to your turn i take a i take it back to your turn that name ebenezer let it speak over your life Let me tell you, hardship is not a good thing. Oh. Don't, don't ever embrace it. it. It can interrupt many useful things in your life. I pray that this grace that came from the throne routed through the, the patriarchs and the matriarchs in this city that makes for ease. I stretch my hands. May that grace rest upon you now. In the name of Jesus Christ I pray for you the grace that brings encounters to a man please be sensitive and pray now you don't have to bring anyone under the anointing outside we don't have that time but in the name of Jesus I am praying there is a grace that draws men and really helps them to see an unfolding of deep things in the spirit i release that grace upon you now i stand by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic and i declare i speak to the two lift gates of your destiny be open now be open now be open now be open now! Be open now! The Bible says, And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah, Paris Kobradishia, Kanabalakatosiata, and he overtook the chariots of Israel. I want to release a grace for speed. Just help those under the anointing. Father, by the grace of God, I declare. I don't know how it has been before now, but I declare speed. Take that grace now. Speed in your life. Speed in your destiny. Help them, please. Speed in your family. 
overflows outside speed speed in the name of Jesus the Bible says and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon I prophesy to the north the south the east and the west everywhere the helpers of your destiny are positioned I command them to appear now please help them I command them to appear now because thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity the Bible says therefore God even thy God had anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows I decree and declare the grace that distinguishes may that grace rest mightily upon you hallelujah I was preaching in Rogic and I please permit me to honor the woman of God Pastor Mrs. Bimbo Ekweme, God bless you. We truly honor you. Thank you. Apostle Goodhart couldn't make it. He traveled. But listen, while I was preaching there at the conference, I was studying and the Spirit of God told me to pray for the grace upon the people, the grace for visibility. Believe me, people of God, let me tell you, being gifted is one thing. But there is a grace that gives you visibility the bible says john remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing there are many gifts listen some of you are in ministry you truly are gifted some of you are in business like dr stanley prophesied over you but it looks like the gate and the revelation came from acts chapter 12 that the bible says how that they bound peter and prayers were going on by the church and the bible says an angel came loose his chain brought him out of the first gate out of the second gate he says he came to an iron gate that opened up to the city there is a gate that opens a man to the city in the name of jesus i decree and declare the gate that must be opened for your influence for your gift for your products to find expression receive that grace now hallelujah the bible says certain men came to david in the cave of adulam even though they met him hiding they bound themselves with a covenant to help him that he must become king let me tell you this no matter how great you are your exploits is predicated on the quality of the people that believe in you and stand by you no matter how anointed you are the gift of men is a grace that God can bring faithful men faithful men father where are the people who must show up over someone's destiny someone's ministry wherever they are by the spirit we call them into your life now hallelujah listen it's one thing for people to believe you be conscious of what you are receiving but it's another thing for people to stand up and bless you the Bible says God restored the captivity of Job, Job 42 verse 10. And he says his friends came and everybody came with a bag of money. When Saul met Samuel, he said on your way back you will find three men holding two loaves of bread. They will salute you and give it to you. There is a real grace for favor. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Exodus 3.21 And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. It shall come to pass that as you go, you shall not go empty. I decree and declare the kind of favor required to accelerate your life. I declare may that favor rest upon you.
whatever has destroyed your prayer life that it has gone down the grace to pray the grace to fast completely gone right now fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar the grace to intercede the grace to pray the grace to wait upon the lord the grace to create changes in prayer receive that grace in the name of jesus hallelujah praise the lord the bible says and jacob dug a well and the philistines came and covered it he dug another well they covered it he dug the third one and they left him he called it Rehoboth. he said god has given me my own space there is a grace for territory where the your portion in a land is kept and left for you in the name of jesus wherever your portion is in this land i stand in partnership with the grace upon the fathers in this land and i declare that you locate that which is yours in the name of jesus christ now in the name of jesus christ we're wrapping up i want to pray for the grace that draws the ministry of the holy spirit to him listen we are made by our fellowship with him this one there is a strong grace that will come on you i want you to believe it there is a grace and embracing to wait to stay until you are furnished until you are made in the name of jesus i stretch my hands from the front to the back the left to the right everyone who must carry this grace father call people call people into dimensions of intimacy call people receive that grace intimacy with the holy spirit it's a fire that is resting on you receive that grace help them please receive that grace the overflows outside receive that grace you will never be the same i release you with a hunger for spiritual things in the name of jesus christ there is the spirit of revelation access is a fellowship into the mystery you are called it's not just something you study you are called into the fellowship of this mystery and as much as the lord has shown us mercy and helped us i stretch my hands there are people who must drink of that grace i stretch my hands access to depths revelations of the spirit carry that grace now carry that grace in the name of jesus carry that grace in the name of jesus carry that grace in the name of jesus hallelujah anyone here appointed to death that death is following you following your family members i stand by the god of heaven we declare cancelled now cancelled now cancelled now yeah. Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. Sing it together, Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. Speak 
Go ahead and pray in tongues. Edify your spirit. Pray, 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 pray. Build your spirit. Make intercessions. Let the Make contact with heaven. Rise through prayer. Take charge over the heavenlies. Send the broski Men ought always to pray and not to faint. I release upon you the spirit of prayer and supplication. Come on, pray, Koinonia. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Build your spirit, man. Don't be tired. This is part of the meeting. This is Koinonia. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising up. There's an army.
to break every chain. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. There's an army. There's an army rising up. Don't break every chain. Lift your hands, everyone. Sikapa tatabala daba. Lift your hands. Sika parente kabala daba shikatai. Mande krada la pako prondus kobali kariada. Zete parata parikatai. Zekatara posukotoi. Shikele posataya. Keep your hands lifted up. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. Is going to be touching men, touching women. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. From the front to the back. The power of the Holy Ghost. That's what happens when we worship. The Lord is breaking limitations. The Lord is breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Hallelujah. 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 Please hold your hands all across the building. In the next five minutes, we are going to pray in tongues. The Lord is doing something in this place tonight. I began to sense this right from the morning. Hold your hands together. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to pray. Instrumentalists, don't stop praying. We are going to pray in tongues. Listen. Within these five minutes... There will be a bursting. Something will break open. As you pray, for many of us, there will be a release of very deep spiritual virtues. This is not just ordinary prayer. Trust me. Hallelujah. Break every chain. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands. Lift your voice. Go ahead and begin to pray in the Spirit. The Bible says, while they prayed, the Holy Ghost said unto them, Separate me, Paul and Barnabas. Lord, as we pray tonight, let there be impartations, let there be openings. Openings of portals, openings of vessels. Pray, pray. Soto kete kete ke pakata. Bamba teke te poko so prekete. Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Kete baka bra teke te. Sete la pariata pakata ya. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. Right to the back. Make sure you pray. Spirit 
spiritual doors are opening spiritual doors are opening i see spiritual doors opening spiritual doors are opening access 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 is being given to men access to deep spiritual things access access is being given to men Access in the spirit Access in the spirit Go ahead and pray He told Jacob for as a prince You are fought with God and prevail Come on, lift your voice and pray. I hear physical chains. Physical chains. I hear physical chains. Physical chains are falling. Physical chains are falling.
There's an army They are rising up They are rising up Lift your hands everyone Lift your hands There are some devils that need to leave this place right now Hallelujah Listen, listen, listen God is bringing mighty deliverance for people now Every service is miracle service. Are you getting my point now? We are going to shout that name Jesus. My goodness. I'm telling you. Major deliverances that will bring breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. The symbol. Hallelujah. At the count of three I want you to shout that name. I command every devil. And every spirit. Every act of witchcraft and divination. In the name of Jesus and at the count of three they must come out of their hiding places and go never to return are you ready now one two three i cause devils now i cause spirits now i cause spirits every wicked spirit out of god's people out of every family now i break spells i break witchcraft i break the power of divination bring them out bring them out i cost that power it's not just them families their families i set fire 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 upon altars. I set fire back at the Lift your hands again. God is visiting families. This is not about you. All the people here are representing families. Lift your hands. Oh, the fire of God must fish them out. There is no hiding for any spirit. At the count of three, you will shout that name at the top of your voice. And the sword of the spirit will go to your family. There must be deliverance tonight. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Hallelujah. The Bible says, How awe inspiring are your ways? It says, Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. All the people you see here, they are representing their families. God is stepping into families. Those doors must be open. I see ancient gates in the spirit. Ancient gates. And I'm about to command them to open. Listen. When I command those gates to open, those affected, you will feel it physically. These are the gates that cause limitations over people and families. But in the name that is above all names, 
I come tonight under this yeah, apostolic yeah. and prophetic anointing. <laughs> I command you be open. I command you be open. Any family, lift your hands that is tied down by any kind of limitation. I don't care what it is. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, if that spirit has survived anywhere else in this place, this is the mount of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command those doors open now. I command those doors open now. Doors of breakthrough be 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 open now. By the force of the spirit, be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Come on, shout it, shout it. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I declare that every force stopping the advancement of my family by the fire of the Holy Ghost leave now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. There's an army rising up. There's an army. To break every chain. To break every chain. There's an army There's an army rising up Don't break every chain Lift your hands, everyone. Shikapatatabaladaba. Lift your hands. Shikaparente kabaladaba shikatai. Mande krata la pakoprondos kovali kariada. Zete parata parikatai. Zekatare posukotoi. 
Shikelepo Sataya. Keep your hands lifted up. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is going to be touching men, touching women. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. From the front to the back. The power of the Holy Ghost. That's what happens when we worship. Hey, yeah. The Lord is breaking limitations. The Lord is breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Breaking limitations. Hallelujah. 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 Please hold your hands all across the building. In the next five minutes, we are going to pray in tongues. The Lord is doing something in this place tonight. I began to sense this right from the morning. Hold your hands together. In the next five minutes, I'd like you to pray. Instrumentalists, don't stop praying. We are going to pray in tongues. Listen, within these five minutes, there will be a bursting. Something will break open. As you pray, for many of us, there will be a release of very deep spiritual virtues. This is not just ordinary prayer. Trust me. Hallelujah. Break every chain. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands. Lift your voice. Go ahead and begin to pray in the spirit. Zembrodoshko brande kalabashata pakata rakata pokoto pokoto baba 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 the Bible says while they prayed the Holy Ghost said unto them separate me Paul and Barnabas Lord as we pray tonight let there be impartation let there be openings openings of portals openings of vessels pray 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 like a priest pray like a priest pray the Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. The Holy Ghost is engaging your spirit man. Right to the back. Make sure you pray. Spiritual doors are opening. Spiritual doors are opening. I see spiritual doors opening. Spiritual doors are opening. Access, access, access. Access is being given to men. Access to deep spiritual things. Access. Access is being given to men. Access in the spirit. Access in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. He told Jacob, for as a prince, you have fought with God and prevailed. Shatata Pakarapa Babakata Rakata Protokoto Polodobos 
Shakata kata rakata pakoto bos manta prata kata lekata prostoto prokotos em prata baba baba ba. Come on, lift your voice and pray. I have physical chains. Physical chains. I have physical chains. Physical chains are falling. Physical chains are falling. There's an army They are rising up They are rising up Lift your hands everyone Lift your hands There are some devils that need to leave this place right now Hallelujah Listen, listen, listen God is bringing mighty deliverance for people now Every service is miracle service. Are you getting my point now? We're going to shout that name, Jesus. My goodness. I'm telling you, major deliverances that will bring breakthroughs. Breakthroughs. The symbol. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name. I command every devil and every spirit, every act of witchcraft and divination in the name of Jesus. And at the count of three, they must come out of their hiding places and go never to return. Are you ready now? One, two, 
three. I cause devils now. I cause spirits now. I cause spirits, every wicked spirit out of God's people, out of every family. Now I break spells. I break witchcraft. I break the power of divination. Bring them out. Bring them out. I cost that power. It's not just them. Families. Their families. I set fire. 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 Upon altars. I set fire upon Lift your hands again. God is visiting families. This is not about you. All the people here are representing families. Lift your hands. Oh, the fire of God must fish them out. There is no hiding for any spirit. Shh. At the count of three, you will shout that name at the top of your voice. And a sword of the spirit will go to your family. There must be deliverance tonight. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Hallelujah. The Bible says, How awe inspiring are your ways? It says, Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves. All the people you see here, they are representing their families. God is stepping into families. Those doors must be open. I see ancient gates in the spirit. Ancient gates. And I'm about to command them to open. Listen. When I command those gates to open, those affected, you will feel it physically. These are the gates that cause limitations over people and families. But in the name that is above all names, I come tonight under this yeah, apostolic yeah. and prophetic anointing. <laughs> I command you to be open. I command you to be open. Hallelujah. Any family, lift your hands, that is tied down by any kind.
kind of limitation i don't care what it is in the name of the lord jesus christ if that spirit has survived anywhere else in this place this is the mount of the lord in the mighty name of jesus christ i command those doors open now i command those doors open now doors of breakthrough be 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 open now by the force of the spirit be open now be open now be open now be open now Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Come on, shout it, shout it. Say after me in the name of Jesus. I declare that every force stopping the advancement of my family by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Leave now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. We believe you are blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.